Have you ever wondered why a narcissist stares at you? There are a number of reasons, and I always found this really bizarre when I was dealing with the narcissists in my life. And by the end of this video, you're going to know why narcissists are always watching you. Hi, I'm Rebecca Zong, top 1% attorney and the best selling author of the books. Negotiate Like You Matter, I'm Breaking Free, Step-by-Step -step Divorce Guide, and I've helped thousands of people go from those crazy lives of drama, trauma, and chaos, and I've helped them step into new lives, new beginnings, new futures, and I do the same thing for you by giving you step-by-step -step guidance right here on this channel. So if you haven't subscribed, now's a perfect time to do that. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. And that way you'll get notified when I upload new content and new videos and go live and answer questions and do all the things that I do here on my channel for you. So let's talk about why a narcissist is always watching you and what it is that they're doing when they're staring at you. I found this to be really, really bizarre. So, I mean, of course, I've dealt with tons of narcissists in my law practice, either as clients or as opposing uh, clients, opposing clients, opposing counsel. Um, but one of the things that I noticed with the two narcissists that I had to deal with in my life is that they were always watching me. They were staring at me um, either in person um, because one of the narcissists that I had to deal with was a family member. And, um, you know, so I noticed that this person was always kind of watching me and sort of staring at me. And, or the other person who was uh, in my life, unfortunately, as a narcissist, they were always watching what I was doing either online or social media or um, whatever it was. And, I just found it really, really bizarre. And I, I used to talk about it with my husband all the time, who, of course, my husband didn't know narcissists or understand narcissism or had never studied it. So, you know, he was like, oh, they probably just like you, maybe they admire you or something like that. I mean, but I just remember thinking it was really kind of creepy. Like, why are, are these people watching me? Um, because it wasn't normal, like, oh, I happen to notice what this person is wearing or something. It was like watching me. And, and as I started to study narcissism and really learn about the personality, because I was trying to learn so that I could be a better lawyer and learn how to negotiate better and become more of a master in dealing with narcissists in the negotiating realm, I was also learning about narcissists in general. And one of the reasons that I found that they're constantly watching you and they're constantly staring at you is because they are trying to take you in. You know, it, they need that endless amount of supply. So they're studying you, they're watching you to see what it is that you're doing because they want to emulate you, they want to be you, they want to be like you. They be, you become a narcissist target because you have so much value. And that's like the really crazy thing because they start devaluing you right away after they, the love bomb phase. Um, and if you want to know more about narcissistic devaluing, check out my video on narcissistic devaluing. But especially covert narcissists, they really are kind of studying you, but in a, in a covert way. Um, and I have a couple of videos on covert narcissists, which is covert narcissists in relationships and covert, um, the covert passive aggressive narcissist. And the two narcissists that I had to deal with were both covert narcissists. And, and the covert narcissists are the ones that are going to be more likely to be kind of staring at you and watching you and, and studying you because they want to take you in. They want to actually kind of, I felt like the one narcissist in my life was almost trying to like, 
step into my shoes and and push me aside and or, or like disappear me um and and it was the strangest thing it's like it's it wasn't just admiration it was this odd sort of pod thing like i'm going to take over everything that you've done and take credit for it and i'm, I'm attaching myself to you to um but I'm doing this because I want to just sort of like become you. Um, and, and rather than trying to do these things all on their own, because narcissists don't feel like they have the ability to uh, become things on their own. They don't, they don't have any sense of self. They have no sense of self-worth. So what they do is they attach themselves to people who have the qualities that they want. That's the type of narcissistic supply. So, so they're watching you because they're kind of like obsessed with you in a lot of ways. So that's one of the reasons that they are always watching you. Another reason that they're always watching you is to actually attract you because they want you to uh, be part of their world. They want to. You, they want you to like them at least initially. They want you to be under their web of control. They need you to become that narcissistic supply for them. Um, another reason that they're always watching you is because they are hoovering you. So maybe it's you're into the discard phase, or uh, and 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 now you've discarded them or even if they've discarded you, but they still, even if they're discarding you, want you to continue to be a source of supply for them. They'll keep you. I heard somebody say it's almost like they keep people on shelves that, you know, could potentially be narcissistic supply down the road. And they just, it's almost like they're, they're saving you uh, like in jars or something and they can pull it back out if they want to, if they need to. So they'll come back and hoover at you again to try to get you to um, become part of that narcissistic supply again. Um, so that's one of the reasons why they stare or they watch you um, also. And another reason that they do it is because they want to intimidate you. So um, sometimes if, um, if you, uh, if they, I've seen this actually like in depositions and things like that, where somebody's trying to divorce a narcissist and they'll, they'll actually stare at that person who's being deposed um, because they want to intimidate that person or they want to be like, you know, you better be careful about what you're going to say or what you're about to do because, you know, I'm watching you kind of a thing. Um, and it can be kind of, um, you know, scary or intimidating, especially if you're dealing with a malignant narcissist. And if you've seen um, a narcissist, you know, watching you and you've experienced it, give me a, I've experienced this in the comments. Just comment below, I've experienced this. Um, and let me know what your experience has been with them watching you like this. I mean, it's super creepy. It's really weird. I, you know, if you don't know anything about narcissists, if you haven't been studying this or watching videos like mine and really understanding the personality of a narcissist, you might think, what the heck are you doing? Why are you staring at me? But there's a number of reasons why they do that. So, um, and the last reason why a narcissist might happen to stare at you is because they want your attention. So they just are like watching you because they want you to watch them back. They want you to stare back at them. They want to get your attention. So, you know, everything is wrapped up in getting some sort of supply for a narcissist and they get, they get supply from getting your attention. They get supply from hoovering you and trying to get you back and get you back into their web of control. They get supply from intimidating you um, and they get supply from watching you and trying to become you and, and, and devaluing you so that, you know, they can get as much supply from you as they possibly can. 
and control you. So, um, of course, that's why they stare at you. That's why they watch you. It is really bizarre. And, and um, I, I remember feeling extremely uncomfortable and not liking it at all and knowing that there was something wrong with it, but not knowing why. So um, if you are dealing with a narcissist in a negotiating setting, uh, make sure to grab my free Crush My Negotiation Prep Worksheet. It is free and it's an ebook and I've helped, I mean, literally thousands of people have, uh, have downloaded it now at this point and used it in their negotiations. So just go ahead and grab it. It's at winmynegotiation.com. If you like this video, give me a like, give it a share, drop me a comment. Let me know what your experience has been with narcissists um, watching you or staring at you. And um, if you are dealing with a narcissist and you want more support, you want to be able to vent, you want to feel like you're not alone, I mean, dealing with nar narcissism can you feel very isolating, you feel very alone, come join me in my free private Facebook group, Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Zung. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm so glad you stopped by my channel. If you haven't subscribed, do that now. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. Remember, today is a great day to start negotiating your best life, and I'll see you in the next video.